NASA confirmed Thursday that the Voyager 1 probe has made history by becoming the first human-made object. Voyager 1, the intrepid spacecraft launched by NASA in 1977, has stunned the scientific community once again with a deep space encounter that defies current understanding of astrophysics. Over 15 billion miles from Earth, traveling through the untouched void between stars, Voyager 1 registered a phenomenon so unexpected, so utterly foreign, that it has shaken assumptions about the nature of space itself. While the spacecraft has made headlines over the decades for its remarkable endurance and the invaluable data it's returned, this latest event is unlike anything previously encountered. It's not a failure, not a glitch, not the swan song of aging machinery, it's something new and it's impossible. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. It began with a brief interruption in Voyager 1's steady data stream. Strange in itself considering the spacecraft's longevity and resilience. For days, mission control at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory watched as the craft's signal oscillated in strange patterns, the telemetry irregular, yet not entirely chaotic. Then, without warning, Voyager 1's instruments registered a spike in energy far beyond the normal radiation background of interstellar space. This was not a solar flare, nor a gamma ray burst, nor any known interstellar radiation. The energy signature was non-periodic, disorganized, and possessed characteristics that did not align with any cosmic event cataloged to date. The data showed a dense cluster of what could only be described as gravitational fluctuations, localized distortions in space-time itself, these waves were not on the scale of those produced by black holes or neutron star mergers, and yet they were intense enough to jostle the delicate gyroscopes on board. Even more curiously, the gravitational wave signatures had a fractal pattern, repeating in increasingly complex formations, suggesting a level of organization that nature typically reserves for biological or computational systems. In other words, it appeared to be structured. That implication alone sent shockwaves through the theoretical physics community. When scientists compared the data to simulations and deep learning pattern recognition models, the result was even more baffling. The models suggested the patterns bore statistical resemblance not to any known astrophysical process, but to artificially generated sequences, encoded information perhaps, or algorithmic routines. The idea that Voyager 1 had passed through some sort of space-borne structure, or even a field of information-rich energy, emerged as the only plausible, albeit extreme, hypothesis. There was no visual component, no object or light source was observed. Yet, the data clearly implied that Voyager 1 had briefly intersected with something. Whatever Voyager 1 encountered, it was fleeting, lasting only 43 minutes and 29 seconds. During that time, the spacecraft's instruments not only recorded energy and gravitational wave anomalies, but also experienced subtle disruptions to its internal electronics. Nothing was permanently damaged, but the onboard computer reported momentary checksum mismatches, as if some outside influence had attempted to interact with or probe the system. The impact was akin to a digital knock at the door, assertive, yet gentle, and undeniably deliberate. One subroutine in the spacecraft's communications module even activated without command, as if responding to a signal that Earth never sent. The implications of this are staggering. Voyager 1, a vessel no larger than a small car, hurtling through the desolate stretch between solar systems, may have brushed against a phenomenon not native to our understanding of physics. The first speculation was that it may have entered a micro-wormhole or a localized rift in the fabric of space-time. However, this theory falters under scrutiny. A wormhole would likely have caused massive distortion, perhaps even tearing the fragile probe apart or displacing it. Voyager's trajectory, verified by decades of consistent tracking, remained largely unchanged. Whatever happened did not displace the craft. It altered the space around it. A second theory, growing in both support and controversy, is that Voyager 1 encountered the edge of an artificially constructed energy lattice, a kind of signal net or spatial mesh that extends invisibly across sectors of the galaxy. Not a physical structure in the traditional sense, but a configuration of space itself, altered or manipulated by some unknown force or intelligence. This could explain the fractal patterns in the gravitational waves and the brief electromagnetic synchronization that nearly mirrored an artificial handshake protocol. It would also imply a level of technological sophistication that humanity has not even begun to imagine. Astronomers and theoretical physicists began to re-examine older Voyager data for anything similar in the past. And although Voyager 1 has passed through many strange environments, 
From the heliopause to the interstellar medium, nothing in its long journey has resembled this latest event. In the decades since it left the influence of the Sun, the spacecraft has reported nothing even remotely anomalous at this scale. This recent encounter stands completely isolated in its magnitude and form, suggesting a localized phenomenon rather than a pervasive one. The position of the encounter adds another layer of intrigue. Voyager 1 was moving through what was previously thought to be a quiet region of interstellar space, a vacuum devoid of notable electromagnetic or gravitational activity. No stars, no nebulae, no known dark matter clusters, just cold, empty void. And yet here, in this supposed nowhere, the probe encountered the most inexplicable event in its 48-year mission. That location is now being studied intensely, with deep space telescopes and new proposals for follow-up missions being drafted, even as researchers struggle to process the raw data. There is an emerging argument in some circles of science that what Voyager 1 passed through may not have been passive. It might have been waiting, a trap, a gate, a probe, or simply a presence. The absence of visual markers may not be due to its invisibility, but because it exists in dimensions or layers beyond ordinary perception, like a fish encountering an invisible current in the ocean. The spacecraft, moving on momentum and mathematical trajectory alone, could never have anticipated such a crossing, nor could Earth. This wasn't an experiment, it was an accident. The eerie notion that Voyager the 1st of May have been noticed lingers heavily. For decades, it has been sending out a constant signal, a narrowband radio frequency carrying telemetry, scientific data, and the occasional engineering check-in. That signal travels outward like a pulse, radiating a human presence far beyond our solar system. Most had assumed it would disappear into noise, lost in the endless cosmic void. But perhaps for the first time, something listened. What that something might be is unknown. No one is jumping to conclude sentient life or alien civilizations, but the properties of the encounter do not align with any known natural event. The structured gravitational patterns, the temporary electromagnetic interference, and the apparent attempt at communication suggest intent, or at least interactivity. It might be a passive detection grid left behind eons ago, or a form of interstellar data collection network akin to a spacefaring version of a weather buoy. Yet all such comparisons are inadequate. This isn't like anything humanity has built or imagined building. If intentional, the presence that Voyager 1 brushed against may have been entirely indifferent or profoundly curious. It may have allowed the spacecraft to continue as a courtesy, or because the interaction was enough. Voyager's systems are too limited to decode any complex signal without assistance from Earth. And yet, in that 43-minute window, something beyond logic and engineering occurred, something that doesn't fit inside known models of communication or exploration. What Voyager 1 just did, what it stumbled into, is a reminder of how little is truly known about the universe. The spacecraft, a mechanical envoy from the 1970s, equipped with golden records and outdated computers, has perhaps done what no telescope or simulation ever could. It went blindly into the void, and the void blinked. Not an encounter with a star or a planet or a comet, but with the invisible architecture of space itself or with something that inhabits that architecture in ways we've never even hypothesized. One of the most unsettling aspects of this event is its ambiguity. There is no clear conclusion, no definitive measurement that says this is what happened, and that may be the most profound result of all. Voyager 1's impossible encounter stands as a singular moment in the history of space exploration, a brush with the unknown that offers no answers, only questions massive unsolved questions about the structure of the cosmos and our place in it. The encounter raises the possibility that the universe is not as silent as previously believed. There may be signals, not in the form of radio waves or blinking beacons, but embedded in the very geometry of space, waiting for the right kind of probe with the right kind of movement at just the right time to pass through. This wasn't a message received across a distance. It was a direct interaction with the medium of space and it implies that intelligence, or perhaps intelligence-like behavior, might be baked into the cosmos at a level deeper than matter or energy. Voyager 1, now beyond the heliosphere and beyond comprehension, is alone in a way nothing else made by humans has ever been. And yet, for those 43 minutes, it may not have been alone at all. The brief disturbance, the gravitational whisper, the subroutine activation, all of it adds up to a singular anomaly that will be studied, reanalyzed, debated, and doubted for decades to come. But it happened. 
The data is clear and the mystery undeniable. This was not a discovery that came with celebration. No one expected Voyager 1 to find anything new. Its mission had long since entered the realm of symbolic achievement rather than scientific expectation. But the cosmos doesn't adhere to our expectations. Voyager 1 ventured far enough and long enough to encounter something outside the catalog of known things. Whether it was a relic of something long gone or a glimpse of something still active and aware remains to be seen. The impossible encounter has already begun to reshape theoretical frameworks. New models of interstellar medium complexity are being proposed. Ideas of cosmic information fields, long dismissed as fringe speculation, are now being revisited. There are whispers of funding for specialized probes that could be launched in future decades, aiming to trace Voyager's path and confirm what it touched. But even with the sharpest tools and the most sophisticated sensors, it is uncertain whether we will ever truly recapture that fleeting anomaly. What Voyager 1 found, or what found it, may never happen again. It may have been a one-time intersection, like two shadows crossing on the floor of eternity. Yet its implications are permanent. It's a moment that redefines what it means to explore, not just to observe, but to encounter, and in doing so, to admit that the universe is still full of secrets that do not announce themselves but wait, silent and impossible until something drifts into their path. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Voyager 1's impossible encounter in deep space now? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.